Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to talk a bit about water purification and why it's important to drink water that is free of different contaminants that are currently in tap water, especially if you live in the city. Now, in my opinion, the healthiest water that you can possibly drink is spring water. And if you go to findaspring.org, you can find a kind of a directory of springs. And if you live locally close to a spring, I highly recommend you drink spring water. But if you live in kind of the, the city like I do, and you don't live kind of near a spring water source, I recommend definitely getting some sort of purification system or uh, finding some sort of purification process to purify the water and to filter out different contaminants. Now, I've made a video before on my YouTube channel talking about different uh, things that are in tap water, and I talked about why I use a shower filter in my home to remove different things like chlorine, fluoride, and heavy metals. But it's also important to pay attention to those different things in regards to your drinking water because um, you're obviously your drinking water is getting into your body as well. So when you're taking a shower, the water is hot, your pores are open because heat opens your pores, and your body takes in the, the water that you're showering in. So if you're showering in tap water, it's taking in whatever's in that tap water. That's why I recommend a shower filter. So I'll link up that article and video right below this video. But today, like I said, I want to talk more about drinking water because Whatever water you're drinking is getting into your body, your organs are using that water to function, your digestive uh, system is using that water to function as well, your heart, your circulation, your blood, how, you know, all these different things are using that water to, to run your body. It's kind of like uh, putting in fuel into your car. If you put in fuel mixed with dirt or fuel mixed with something, you know, some chemical or, you know, whatever it may be, that fuel is going to cause your car to kind of not run smoothly. It's going to kind of break down. But if you're using like high octane, you know, race fuel or something that's a high, very, very high grade, it's very pure, it's very potent, and it's very effective. And the, the engine and that motor will run uh, much more effectively like a, like a well-oiled machine. So what, what, when you're looking at your body and you're looking at health, you have to look at your body as a machine. And the more you give it nutrition, the more you give it health, the more you give it vitality, the, more, the better that well-oiled machine runs. And water is a huge part of it because our bodies are uh, you know, three-fourths water, 75, 80% you know, water. So uh, if we're not giving our body healthy water, for giving our water, our body kind of like junk water, uh, it's not going to run smoothly. It's not going to run effectively. So everything from you know your every system in your body, every organ, every gland, uh, your circulation, your skin, your digestive system, your, your cardiovascular system, your cognitive system, your brain, you know all these different things run off water. So it's very important, in my opinion, to remove the, the things from the water that are causing issues, uh, the kind of the contaminants that are you know added to the water and things like that. So uh, the first thing is chlorine. Chlorine is kind of a corrosive agent. So um, for example, if you've swum in a chlorine-based pool before, like most of us have, uh, chlorine is something that causes your skin to kind of be leathery, uh, almost dry and kind of like rough, if you will. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't your skin doesn't feel normal after swimming in a chlorine, chlorinated pool. And the use of chlorine to kill the bacteria, you know, that's kind of a positive, if you will, but um, the problem is it's a corrosive agent. So it's really bad for your hair, your skin, and your nails. And when you're drinking it internally, or, you know, even in a pool, it still gets into your body, and it's kind of corrosive for your body. So for your body to heal, for your body to recover, for your body to kind of uh, rejuvenate itself, uh, a corrosive agent just slows things down and slows the healing process which is not good because then your body takes up more resources to heal from injury, from pain, from you know whatever it may be uh, because of that corrosion. It just takes longer to heal and repair. And you don't want to you slow down the healing and repairing process within your body because that's, that really accelerates aging is what it's doing. So chlorine will really kind of accelerate uh, corrosiveness and aging within the body, uh, the skin, hair, nails, and all those types of things. So uh, it's important to remove chlorine from your water. The next thing is fluoride. I'll tell you about this. The next thing I want to remove is fluoride. Now, uh, there's two, two kind of thought processes within fluoride. There's one, the traditional kind of dental community says fluoride is great for your teeth, this, this, and that, and you know, that's all you really hear. But then if you start looking at the alternative and kind of holistic health world, they start talking about how fluoride uh, is an endocrine disruptor. Uh, it's it, when people cite studies or, you know, kind of how fluoride is in nature, uh, they don't kind of tell you that the fluoride added to the water system is seven times that amount of what it is in nature. So it's a completely different playing field. And it's, to me, that's an imbalance. And it's important to understand balance within the body and what you're putting in the body and is what you're putting in the body balanced. So 
there's that, uh, fluoride binds to kind of calcium, so uh, it causes calcification of the pineal gland, uh, it's an endocrine disruptor, it causes issues in the thyroid, it causes blood sugar issues, all these different things. And do I know that all these are true? Absolutely not. But I would rather avoid uh, having to deal with those issues, pineal gland issues, thyroid issues, endocrine, hormonal issues, all these different things, than take the risk and play with something that's like a man-made chemical. And if you look up uh, fluoride online, you can kind of find a lot of different thoughts on this. But I say it's better to have it out of the water because, you know, why take the risk? If I'm deficient in fluoride, I think I would know. And uh, you, there'd be fluoride supplements and fluoride, you know, all this kind of fluoride stuff everywhere. But, you know, no one's ever gone to the doctor and he said, hmm, I think you have a fluoride deficiency. So I think we're all, the, the traditional kind of medical world is kind of overlooking it a bit. And, um, you know, if we really do need fluoride, uh, you know, it'd be in our foods, it'd be in our, it'd be in our water naturally, we wouldn't need to add it. So I think that's important to understand. So uh, fluoride has also been linked to uh, cognitive uh, dysfunction and things like that as well. So there's so many things linked to fluoride, I would just say it's better to avoid it. The next thing is heavy metal toxicity. Uh, because our water is kind of, uh, it's stored in uh, metal processes, so it's, you know, metal, whether it be a metal tank, uh, metal pipes, uh, there's a lot, it's a high pressure process, so it's, it's put through pipes, there's a lot of pressure and it's in a metal environment brought into, you know, our sinks and our, you know, showers and everything, the carrying of the water is within a metal based environment. So lead, mercury, you know, all these different metals, aluminum, all these different things can get into the water. So uh, this uh, picture I want to share with you, it removes lead, mercury, and chromium-6, and mercury obviously is not a good thing. Um, you know, no, no heavy metals are really a good thing, um, causing, once again, endocrine, their endocrine disruptors, hormonal imbalances, and mental and cognitive uh, dysfunctions and things like that. So, um, what I'm about to share with you is something I found out. I've had people ask me, uh, even like a few years ago, I had people asking me, you know, how do, how can I drink water, how can I get water that is purified, filtered, and removes the things that are beneficial in the water for a good price. And all I had at the time, all I knew about were filters that cost $500, $1,000, and $2,000, and even more. Um, but recently I found something, a picture called Clearly Filtered, and uh, I'll put the link to this picture right below, uh, right below this video, uh, as well as the shower post as well. But basically, this picture removes what I just read to you, chlorine, fluoride, lead, mercury, and chromium-6. So. Uh, Having those things removed from your water is really important because uh, there's really nothing on the market uh, for a good price that does that. Like I said, it costs five hundred thousand dollars or more. And this pitcher is just—I believe it's just sixty bucks, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so all you do is you get the pitcher and you take this little filter in here and you flush it out with this process right here, with this little thing with tap water, and you just kind of flush it out, and it removes chlorine, fluoride, and heavy metals. And uh, I think it's extremely important to remove um, chlorine, fluorine, chlorine, fluoride, and heavy metals because, like I said, endocrine disruptors, uh, toxicity within the body, corrosion, um, you know, all these different things. The more pure your water is, uh, you know, the, the more life it has, the more minerals it has, um, and the less kind of added man-made, you know, those types of things, the closer to nature it is, the closer mimicked even to nature it is, uh, the better because it's going to be healthier for your body, your body's going to be able to use it and accept it and get much more value for it. So uh, I'll put the link to that picture right below this video or you can go to bit.ly forward slash clearly filtered to read more about the picture and, and the product and I'll also put the link to the uh, shower filtration post right below this video as well so you can learn more about that. Um, that's it for this video. Hopefully that resource helps you out a lot in uh, getting healthier water in your house and saving some money in the process. This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.